お前はもう死んでいる。何てってるー。こんにちは、ジャパニーズアモのミサだってばよ。<笑> hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you the anime catchphrases and I'm actually going to teach you the grammar, the Japanese grammar through those famous lines. I'm a huge otaku myself and I fully, fully support your decision of learning Japanese because you like anime. Don't let anyone judge you. Anime wa saiko. <laughs> anime is awesome. Alright, so let's start with the most famous one currently on the internet. <clears throat> Omae wa mo shinde iru. So this line comes from the anime Hokuto no Ken, Fist of the North Star. So fist, we usually say kobushi, kobushi, but ken is actually the Chinese reading onyomi. And did you realize that the main character is called Kenshiro? Yes, that ken means fist. And this shiro is quite common suffix used in names, like toshiro. From bleach. So this line, Omae wa mo shindeiru means you are already dead. Kenshiro says this after he does Hokuto Hyakuretsuken, 100 rending fists. And when he punches, he says, Ah, ta 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 so I'm so happy that this meme is popular now because that's my childhood. Like literally, little Mesa was running around and like doing ah da, 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 to everyone. <laughs> so it's really funny to me. And then the enemy is usually standing behind Kenshiro, and Kenshiro is already like, like I won. And the enemy is usually like, oh, you're gonna die. And then Kenshiro says. Omae wa mo shindeiru. And the enemy obviously doesn't believe that because he's still speaking. <laughs> so he's like, Nani? Which means what? Right? And obviously, a normal Japanese person would say it like, Nani? What? Nani? Uh, but to make it more animal like, you have to say, like, Nani? Right? <laughs> and then the enemy explodes. Anyway, let's look at the words. In the line, Omae wa mo shindeiru. So, first, I've talked about this in a lot of different videos, but Omae is a rude way to say you. So, in Japanese, there are a few ways to say you, and most of them are rude. <laughs> so, the most famous one probably is anata, right? And again, anata is rude. You can use anata if you're not really talking about a specific person. So a textbook would refer to you as anata because the textbook doesn't know your name, right? But if you know the person's name, you have to use the person's name instead of the word you. So when you want to say you are cute, don't say anata wa kawaii or anata wa kawaii desu. Mm -mm. Sounds very rude. If you're talking to me, you have to say Misa wa kawaii informally and Misa san wa kawaii desu. Or you can say Misa sensei wa kawaii desu. So instead of the word you, use the person's name. Okay? And also in Japanese, it's very common to omit words like you, I, we. We don't really use the subject as long as it's clear from the context. For example, if I say tired, even if I don't say I am tired, if I look tired and if the context is clear, you know that I'm talking about myself, right? Like that. We also don't always say watashi, I. Like we don't say watashi wa tsukarete iru to mean I am tired. We just say tsukarete iru. To me, I'm tired. We usually don't say you or I. Anyway, anata is one way to say you, technically. And also this omae. Omae 
actually is more commonly used than anata in a way because omae can be used to someone who you don't want to respect. <laughs> like if I want to really offend someone and say, you stink, I can say, omae kuse. <laughs> don't say it to someone, okay? I don't want to take any responsibility. <laughs> so, omae kuse is such a rude way to say, you stink. <laughs> so even if I know the person's name, I would choose to use omae because I want to disrespect that person. But a lot of men use omae to friends, like jokingly or just because they don't care. So it really depends on the friendship, but generally people don't like it if they are called omae instead of their name. It's also a problem because sometimes you hear a husband saying omae to their wife and obviously their relationship is not great. I had a teacher once who called me omae and I hated that guy. Anyway, moving on. Omae wa, this wa is the particle topic marker. So it shows what the speaker is talking about, right? I'm talking about you and then more already, more. Shindeiru. So, shinu means to die. Shinu. You probably have heard also shine from anime, which means die. That's the imperative form. And then this shindeiru, that's the present continuous tense. So, shinu becomes shinde in the te form. I have a lesson on the te form, so please check out. But you basically make this te form. And then you add iru. And that's like, I'm doing something, like one is doing something, or it shows the current state of something. So, for example, kekkon shiteiru means to be married, or ikiteiru means to be alive, and shindeiru means to be dead. So, shinu, to die, or will die, and shinda means died. The past tense, shinda, and shindeiru, to be dead. Died, and the current state is dead. Okay? So, mo shindeiru means already dead. Yeah, so, omae wa mo shindeiru, you are already dead. My friend said this to me once in an amusement park. So, I really hate roller coasters. Jet coaster ga dai kirai desu. Honto ni kirai desu. 一緒に友達とジェットコースターに乗ってジェットコースターが動く前にちょっと待ちますよね。その時私は本当に降りたくて友達にねえ無理無理無理無理無理やっぱりやっぱり降りたいやっぱり無理。そしたら友達にお前は
Anshin. Anshin means relief, like I'm relieved as well. So it might sound like it's repeating the same thing, but yada yada is just like a phrase you say. It's like, phew. So for example, the next time you think you're gonna poop yourself, but you make it in time, <laughs> you can sit on the toilet and say, yada yada does it. <laughs> Good grief, what a relief. Or when you're playing a game and your teammate wants you to carry them, you can say, yada yada does it and help them out. <laughs> next up. In the name of the moon, I shall punish you. Do you know where this line is from? If you do, we can be best friends. <laughs> uh, this is from Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. Tsuki no Usagi says this line. And every Japanese girl knows this line. Unless they are very, 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 very young. Okay, so first, tsuki is how we say moon. Tsuki. Do you remember in the video how to say I love you? I taught you that you can say tsuki ga kirei desu ne to mean I love you, right? But it literally means the moon is beautiful. Yes, yeah, so tsuki, moon, and ni kawatte means instead of or on behalf of. So if you want to say instead of, normally you usually say like now no kawari ni. For example, sato no kawari ni shio o tsukatchatta. Sato no kawari ni shio o tsukatchatta. Oops, I use salt instead of sugar. So, sato no kawari ni instead of sugar. But this ni kawatte is often used as on behalf of. So for example, ane ni kawatte would mean on behalf of my older sister. Like, ane ni kawatte kimashita. I came here on behalf of my sister. I came here instead of my sister. This is quite a formal expression compared to no kawari ni. So, tsuki ni kawatte on behalf of the moon, but in the name of the moon. So the moon is meant to punish you, but I am doing it instead. And then, oshioki yo! Uh, the translation is, I shall punish you, right? Oshioki is specifically a punishment for kids. So usually parents give oshioki to their kid. It doesn't have to be a harsh punishment or something. It can be like a tickle, like kocho kocho no ke. Like, like parents could jokingly say, Oshioki wa kocho kocho da! And that's like, your punishment is tickling! Kocho kocho tickle. But you know, it, can, it could be used sexually as well. So a boyfriend could say, Oshioki ga hitsuyo da na. <laughs> Yeah, it's very contextual, but usually it's used when parents punish their children. <laughs> so, tsuki ni kawatte oshioki yo is pretty cute. Because oshioki is quite a cute word because it's something that children hear, right? So it's kind of a childish word in a way. So it's a very cute line. Tsuki ni kawatte oshioki yo. Next up. Kaizoku o ni. Ore wa naru! So this is from One Piece. One Piece. And Luffy, or we say Luffy, says this line, right? I'm gonna be king of the pirates! So, kaizoku is pirate. Remember, kazoku, family. Kaizoku, pirate. The kanji kai means sea, right? We usually say umi as a noun. Umi. And then this zoku means robber or traitor or rebel. Anyway, even if you don't watch One Piece, it's a good word to remember because, for example, pirated film, we would say kaizoku ban no ega. Like kaizoku ban literally means pirate version, but we use it like pirated. And kaizoku o pirate king, right? And kaizoku o ni naru, so Naru is the verb to become. 
And when you want to say I become and then you put a noun, you have to use the ni particle. So it's kind of like turn into, right? Because ni usually shows the direction. So I'm going to become a teacher. You'd say, Kyoshi ni narimasu. Or, Sensei ni narimasu. I'm going to become a programmer. Programma ni narimasu. And, Kaizoko ni naru. But he says, Kaizoko ni, and then, Ore wa naru. So, Ore is another way to say I, like Watashi is the most famous one, right? I. And Watashi is used by both men and women when speaking formally. But when speaking informally, so when we talk to friends, usually men don't use the word Watashi because Watashi generally is only used by women when talking to friends, okay? So when speaking formally, doesn't matter. Everyone uses watashi. When speaking casually, watashi could sound feminine. So a lot of men tend to use ore, ore, okay? You hear this ore everywhere in anime. Not just anime, in real life too. Usually we put the subject or the topic at the beginning of the sentence. I have a lesson on the word order in Japanese, so please check that out. But we usually say someone wa object or verb or someone wa verb, right? Or adjective or noun. So we usually put that at the beginning, like ore wa watashi wa misa wa. But here, if he says ore wa kaizoku wo ni naru, that just sounds too normal. So he changes the word order to put the emphasis on the word pirate king. So the pirate king I'm going to become. All right, the last one. Tatebayo, or just something tebayo. So this is from Naruto, my true love. <laughs> Naruto Zenkan Motemasu. I have all volumes. I collected all volumes. I bought DVDs. I bought Hitayate. I bought Kunai. I was a true ninja, okay? <laughs> okay, anyway. People don't use this datte bayo, okay? Only Naruto uses this. But if I talk about the grammar, you say noun or na adjective, datte bayo, and verbs, e adjectives, te bayo. So we only put da if we put a noun or a na adjective in front of it, right? So ramen datte bayo. Ramen is a noun, so we say datte bayo. But for example, Naruto says ikutte bayo. It's like, we're going, or let's go. Iku, the verb, to go, right? So we don't say iku datte bayo, we say iku te bayo. Okay, so that's the grammar point. And I saw that it's often translated as believe it in English, but actually it's more like I told you already. So this datte bayo is Naruto's thing, but it does come from a proper grammar point. Teba. Teba. And this teba is used very commonly by everyone in real life too, not just anime. This teba comes from to ieba. So iu is to say, right? And we usually use the to particle to quote something. Like I said blah blah blah, we say blah blah to imashita. Informally, we say blah blah te itta. I said you're cute. I'd say kawaii. Te itta. Kawaii. Te is quoting kawaii. Kawaii. Te itta. And then ieba. This eba is the conditional form, right? Anyway, this teba is used when you want to say, I told you. So, for example, your friend is like jokingly punching you, and you already said itai, but your friend is still doing it. You can say, Itai te ba. I told you it hurts. Or you're telling your friend that your friend is cute, like kawaii yo. But your friend is like, ah, oh, go away, good night, go away, good night. Like doesn't believe you. You say kawaii te ba. I'm telling you, you're cute. Or you can also use it when you're frustrated. Hayaku te ba. Hayaku te ba. Hayaku literally means fast or early, right? Hayaku can be used like hurry up. 
Hiya kutte ba! It's like, oh my gosh, please, hurry! And you're frustrated. The reason why the translation is usually believe it in English, I guess, is because like, I told you, so believe it. <laughs> like, kawaii te ba, right? But be careful, te ba can sound quite aggressive if you use it when you're angry, obviously. You're like, like kawaii te ba, that's fine, right? But if you say it like, Oh, mo kawaii te ba. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, how many times do I have to say this to you? You are cute. <laughs> so it's it can sound quite aggressive too, right? But anyway, Naruto says te ba yo. So we don't put this yo part go at the end after it. te ba. That's just Naruto thing, okay? And you know, Japanese memes are a bit different from English memes. And in Japan, we often use this meme from Naruto. Tsumari, doyu koto datte ba yo. Tsumari means I mean, or in other words, or to sum up. You often hear this tsumari with tsumari blah blah. Toyu koto des. Toyu koto des means it means. So, for example, you invited someone, but the person is like, ah, uh, you know, I have so much things to do tomorrow, and lists everything that he has to do, and you want to say. In other words, or so basically means you can't come, right? So you can say, Tsumari, korare nai toyu koto desu ne. Tsumari, korare nai toyu koto desu ne. And this Naruto's famous line uh, that's like going on on the Japanese internet is, Tsumari, doyu koto datte ba yo. So, doyu koto means what does that mean? Not as in like what does this word mean but more like what are you trying to say? Yeah so when someone doesn't understand something on the internet they're like Tsumari, doyu koto datte ba yo? <laughs> Alright so that was the last one but bonus ones. Tetteru and eru pesai kangaru. So these are from Steins Gate. You have to watch this anime if you haven't. I know the first five episodes are kind of boring, but but it's totally worth it, okay? And they basically don't mean anything, but they are very famous anime lines. And if you are an otaku, you must know these. Tetteru and Erupusai Konguru. Alright, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Mite kurete, arigato. And if you'd like more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. And if you could also support me on Patreon, I'd be forever grateful. All right, じゃあまたね。バイバイ。エルプサイコンゴル。